get it, 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 get it. Oh, hi. Um, welcome. It's week 17 for the Sing Show. It's great to see you all. Thanks for joining us again. Um, it's another wonderful week uh, here in Northern California. We're excited to share with you um, our show today. And uh, if you notice, I have a friend here today. This is uh, Crispin. He's down here. On, he's now taking a nap. That's the way it goes. You know, you're wide awake and then boom, napped. <laughs> if only. Well, as we have been doing for the last several weeks, uh, I'm going to start with our little mini maker moment. And uh, today we're going to be making uh, a finger puppet. And so all you need is some cardboard and you need a pen or pencil. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some tape or glue um, and maybe some other color or colored construction paper or white paper, crayons, markers, whatever you want for decorating. But we are going to make a finger puppet, like I said before, and this one's kind of a fun, unique finger puppet. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find yourself a quarter or a penny or a nickel. Um, just take a look at the girth of your finger and then match the coin to the, the, the circumference of your finger there. Mine are going to need a quarter. Uh, for that. So, you know, if you're nickel sized and go nickel or penny size, then grab half a penny. Dollar. What was that? Half dollar size. If you're half dollar size, if you're half dollar size, go see a doctor. <laughs> but take that currency, that coin, and trace it. And you're going to trace this twice. Uh, I'm going to just do that real quick here on the table so that you have two eyeballs staring out at you. Those aren't actually going to be eyeballs, but that's where we're going to start. Then you're going to take your scissors, and let me tell you, I have a great little maker tip right here. Grab yourself, parents, families, grab yourself a pair of these scissors. These are some high leveraging scissors. If you notice, they've got a funny angle on them. That's because they're made to cut heavy materials like cardboard. They are made by a company called Canary. They say arm wrestler right there on them. Um, and you can find them online at all different types of places. Just look up canary cardboard scissors. Um, you can actually find them at a online retailer that's named after a famous river in South America. Take those scissors and we're going to cut out a torso and if you imagine that's where the waist is of the person you're going to cut out uh, the rest of that and um, you could draw it or you could just do like I do and just go for it be very careful these scissors cut cardboard and everything else <laughs> Ta -da! there we go so um, the next thing you need to do is get an adult to help you with a very sharp uh, blade or um, scissors to cut out these two circles. It's the hardest part of this whole process, but if you get some help um, doing that, you'll have two holes, and those holes are important because those holes are going to be for your fingers. Yeah, that's why we had to measure. Apparently I needed a bigger coin. Um, so then Get some colored paper or white paper and color it and decorate it to make yourself a character. This is John. And John is a farmer. And uh, he's got some overalls. And he's got a red shirt. And he has a hat. And much like my hats, his hat is a tad too small for his big head. Hmm, such is life. John's missing one thing, though. He's missing an arm. And so we're going to attach another arm. All I did was cut a strip of cardboard and I kind of bent it a little, and I frayed the edges to make some fingers, yeah, like that. And uh, to attach this, I'm gonna use another tool that I like to use here in the makerspace, and that is this stuff right here. This is foam 
sticky tape. It's double backed foam and it's cut into little pieces already for you. Um, you could pick this up at a lot of any craft store, but um, I got this at the dollar store and you can get a, got a huge roll of it for just a dollar. Very cheap and inexpensive and a great addition to your makerspace. No burned fingers, uh, no super glues. And um, just take a piece, peel it off the roll, stick it to your um, arm, Peel off the other side, easier said than done. And we're gonna stick that onto our character like so. And there you have it. It's John. John's a finger puppet. And John is going to join us a little later in the show. Keep your eye on John. most Zoom, Zoomers that I've had in a meeting before. Zoomers. Zoomers. Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> like people. seven pages worth seven of people. people. Like 160 people on a Zoom call. You're just like, oh, let me see if I can find my friend. And you're like, oh, I can't and find... every page, there was a friend. Somebody, and then, it was so funny. Yeah, and then the person talks and they jump pages. And you're like, oh, they're back on the... And then you try to get back to page one. but the, It yeah. was still fun. It was fun. And we got to sing songs I learned so many things. And tell stories. And I feel so inspired to, to see everyone again. If you like to meet with friends on Zoom, we've been waiting for you. If you like to connect with others, we've been waiting for you. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Speaking of connecting with others, we've had... Um, Lots of people connect with us Yeah, our the niece show. and nephew just last night were sending, you know, us videos of their latest maker project. Yes, they, you, you probably saw them a couple weeks ago. Or if Hello you to Collins and Brecken. You could go check it out. It's um, on our YouTube and Facebook page. Uh, their, their video of um, here in the makerspace. They were so inspired by all the making of inventions and different things. They went home up to Kirkland, Washington, and as soon as they got home, I, literally as soon as they got home, they made their own makerspace. And you could make yeah. one too. Yeah, you just need a, even just a simple box to start putting things in. Recyclables, just odds and ends, things you're, you know, thought you Cardboard. are done playing with. You may reinvent them into something else. 50 cent pieces. <laughs> You've got really big fingers. 
If you like to make, we've been waiting for you. If you love to create, we've been waiting for you. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. It was, it, I think the thing this week was the Pokemon phone. Oh, yes. The Pokemon phone. So cool. Yeah, it, it's like a phone. But Pokemon. If you like Pokemon, we've been waiting for you. And if you like to talk on the phone, we've, we've been, been waiting for you. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. And if you don't like to talk on the phone, we've been waiting for you too. <laughs> that would be me, but. Yeah. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Waiting for you. This place, wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Ah, uh, it's so good to sing with everyone again. It's, it. it's a great Friday. I look forward to Fridays specifically for you and for this. Speaking of missing people. I am missing a friend of mine that you met earlier. In fact, I have a question for you all. You want to come in and let's let's be inquisitive together. Take your hands and get ready. Here we go. Where is John? The old red hen has left her pen. Where is John? The cows are in the corn again. Oh, John! Oh, John! You have five seconds to find John. Go! week I was sitting in our new swing chair underneath our big climbing tree and thinking about the wonderful book club that I had just finished being a part of. It was very inspiring and very moving and I started thinking about inspiring women, women in my life who have uh, been great role models, people who have inspired me to go after big dreams and it reminded me of one of my very favorite picture books called The Tree Lady. And this book I love for so many reasons, one of them being it, the cover. And this, to me, this young girl here laying underneath the trees, the canopy, uh, looking up her perspective and just what a magical thing that is to do. If you haven't done that before, I encourage you to find a big tree and lie beneath its leaves and just listen and see what you notice. This book is one where if you take a look at the jacket and the cover, are they the same? A wonderful illustration hidden underneath that jacket. So always take a peek at that. This is the true story of a woman who changed a city forever. And she was Catherine Olivia Sessions. She grew up in the 1800s and it was a time when, you know, girls weren't supposed to get dirty, girls weren't going to college and graduating with degrees in science, and she was one of those people who went out and was the first at some of those things. And so her life story is one worth reading about. She goes to on in her life to move to San Diego, and at the time there weren't very many trees there. And so she goes on a mission in search of planting many, many trees. And I'll let you read on in that book. I encourage you to go find out more about what happens when she goes on that hunt for trees in San Diego. Well, thinking about her and her mission, her dream to beautify her community, it got me thinking of one of my favorite chapter books by another Catherine. I noticed a theme going here with Catherine Applegate, the author of The One and Only Ivan. I know some of you had read that book this year. And this book is called Wish Tree. This one I read a couple summers ago, and um, I'm rereading it again this summer. It's one where it allows you to 
really get excited about the writer's craft. Here, our author has written from the point of view of the tree, and this wish tree uh, challenges you to think about personification, to um, imagine what it must be like from someone else's point of view. I hope that you'll go out and find some great books this week. Maybe your theme will be trees, maybe it'll be something else, but I hope you'll share with me. Come on now, make some time to read. It's Mrs. Ray's book bag. Okay. Well, we hear that there were some sound issues today. We think we fixed the problem. Give us a shout out in the comments if we you can hear us, hopefully. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm bummed we had some fun, fun things to share with you. So we'll see, you know, maybe no, we can. No, Good no, moments no. there. Oh, well, you know. Well, we'll fix that's, it later. That's live, whatever, not TV. You can Or you can write your own story. Imagine what yeah. we were saying, yeah. I guess. Rewatch it and make other video or record your own audio. So. You know, uh, I don't know if you heard this, but we do have a question, and that question is... Ready, here we go. Where, Where is John? The old red hen has left her pen. Where is John? The cows are in the corn again. Oh, John! Oh, John! Can you help us find John? We'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three... Did you find him? <laughs> oh, Chris. Well, that reminds me of another song for the character named John. Yeah. This one's, though, not a human. This one is a rabbit. Uh, and this song is what they call a call and response song. So I'll sing a part, and then you'll respond, yes ma'am. But you sing it, it says, yes ma'am. And uh, you can sing along with Mrs. Ray. All right. Here we go. Oh, John the Rabbit. Yes ma'am. Got a mighty fine habit. Yes ma'am. Of jumping in my garden. Yes ma'am. Cutting down my cabbage. Yes ma'am. My sweet potatoes. Yes fresh tomato yes ma'am and if i live to see next fall yes ma'am i ain't gonna have no <laughs> garden at all yes. no, no ma'am <laughs> see it's a call and response right right, right. each time i think that's all right too bad that one wasn't the one. I that think the audio <laughs> probably cut out at yeah. certain points, but just on this side of the room. Yeah, probably. It was weird. It's like probably. a like vortex <laughs> time tunnel. I don't know. Well, <laughs> speaking of gardens and you know sweet potatoes, when our uh, <laughs> my mom, my mom had this garbage garden growing on her. Um, so a little Windows sweet still. potato had a, a little sprout, and we took we took it home and put it in our windowsill in yeah. this uh, jar of water. And look at the root system on this thing. It is intense. I mean, there's a lot going on inside that jar. And one thing I've loved over these last couple of weeks is how the leaves, they're, they're heart-shaped leaves. And maybe, maybe. that's why it's... Sweet. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. The other thing is, um, one of the things you can do with this is you could you could plant this and grow more sweet potatoes. These are called slips in gardening terms. Um, but all you have to do is is break one of these little things off. You just lift the whole thing out. Take just take it right off the side of the sweet potato. You just pop it right off the side with all the roots. You plant that in the ground, and it will become a sweet potato plant. They have these beautiful purple blossoms. And um, sometime in the late fall, early winter, you get sweet potatoes right after the freeze is when you dig them up, usually the first freeze of the season. So, can you, um, yeah. Can you plant regular potatoes now or no? You could. You could plant regular potatoes now, too. Yeah. Um, so we have nice long potatoes, like right at the beginning of 
when the sing show first started back in the spring we had some potatoes that had started to sprout and we put them in our garden and just this week ellie and i went out and we were harvesting we have uh some red and some white potatoes here this is just a part of what we harvested of, of what we've been growing this week we ate some and um we have some more we have these here another thing growing on in the garden this week and maybe in yours too grapes it's grape season here in Sacramento. Um, these grapes, a little bit small, but they are bigger than last season. I did do some pruning of the grapes, which is what you have to do. If you want big grapes, you have to get rid of some of those little grapes. You have to sacrifice. But if you have chickens, they love those little grapes. Sure. Um, but don't feed them to dogs. Miss Wadi, we were just chatting about the grapes, and I was wishing we could get together again. Last summer, we brought some to share with her. Uh, it's some tomatoes. You heard that in the song too. We've got all kinds of tomatoes. I know some of you have been planting your gardens this spring and uh, sent me some photos of your tomatoes. I hope you're enjoying them. Take a look. This one is called the Atomic Grape Tomato. So fun. Yeah, look at the color. I don't know if it comes through quite as well on camera as it does in real life, but these are delicious <laughs> and we planted a lot of squash this year we've got summer squash like uh this yellow crookneck and zucchini we made a zucchini bread this week and then our good friends over at the soilborn farms you met lacy a few weeks ago on the sing show uh they introduced us to the curry curry winter squash and um, and then this tiny baby delicata squash it's very my delicata. plant yes my plant um I had missed a couple days of watering, and so the vines started to dry up. So I harvested them, even though they're small. But we have a few more out there. I'm hoping they get a little bit larger because this one might be a single serving mm -hmm. just for me. Speaking of farm life and farm things, our special guest this week comes from like a few feet away. Uh, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce our special guest, Ellie and her chickens. We're obsessed and on the quest to find the best for our bequest To be impressed, to pass the test, we, we will not acquiesce. acquiesce Our video is now compressed, success will be success Here's our special guest, here's our special guest Hi, I'm Ellie, and welcome to our little farm and since some of our chickens have made an appearance on the sing show i thought might as well tell you a little bit more about them this is simba and we've had her since about april or may and she is a speckled sussex and we actually have two speckled sussex but she really um, when she gets older, she will be more of a white feather, and there she goes, okay. So this is Ganda, and she is about the same age as Simba, and she is, well, we don't actually remember what her breed is, but I guess she's a wizard. This is Flash, and... She is a very unique chicken because she actually has five toes instead of four, like most chickens. And she is a salmon favorite, and is ready to go back in her cage. These are our twins, and so this is that I'm holding, Chick um, Freddy, and that is Chicken Block, and they're actually named after. A song that our friend wrote and so they are blue laced red wine dots Beautiful feather pattern. in this coop four of the chickens were born here and three of them we had actually bought from the store this is one of our um, Roosters, and he it was born here in at our house. 
Um, and his name is, um, what is his name? Oh yeah, his name is Skeppy, and he is part Americana, because our, his dad was an Americana, and he, we don't actually know what his other breed is, but he is very unique. This is our, one of our other roosters, and again, he was born here, and he is also part Americana, and he, he's part Americana, part um, Rhode Island Red, and so he's really cute. What's his name? His name is Sunshine, because we did not know he was a rooster. <laughs> Again, born here, and she is a part Cochin, part Americana, and Cochins actually have feathers on their feet, so you can see her feathers starting to grow, and her name is Cloudy. So this is Carter, and she is the last one that was born here, and she, we don't know her breeding yet, but she is part Americana. This is our mother hen, and she is a cochin, and she uh, was what we call a broody hen when she was sitting on all her eggs. So she would peck at us if we tried to get close to her. But now she's a little more, she's a little nicer, but she is a little more skittish, and her name is Wings. This is Ollie, and she is an Americana. Ooh, okay. And she is my favorite, and she actually has followed me around a couple times. And so she is really gentle and doesn't ever really peck you. So she's good for letting people pet, except for right now. left her pen. Where is John? The cows are in the corner. Oh, John! Oh, John! Five seconds to find him. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know. Did you find him? You find I him? hope so. I hope so. By the way, if you have one of these around at your house, this is a bunt pan. Um, you should grab it. This is a nice, like, you need the nice heavy-duty ones. Like a cast like iron. Like a cast iron bunt pan. And uh, just a mallet or your knuckles. And if you give it, hold it in the center, it's got a perfect handle, and give it a little tap. Ooh. It's like gamelan. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Very so nice. Fun, so fun. Well, we know how we had some issues with the sound this uh, this morning, you know, that 15 minutes ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. We've been doing this show for five hours now. <laughs> the beginning of the show. Well, we yeah. think we got it all figured out, and, you know, that's just part of making is, yeah. you know, 
solving problems. So anyway, we want to give some big shout outs in case you missed um, our hellos to you. We saw Mrs. Baker on there, Mrs. Fadness, Mrs. Johnston. I bet you're out there with your granddaughters. I miss seeing you guys at Garden Club. Chaco family. Um, the Lockleans. The, you know, Kim, Naomi, Sophia, big time. I mean, dedicated fans. They're for on here sure, all sure. the time. Hi, Muhammad and your whole family. It's great to hear from you this week. I'm so glad that you're here singing with us. Brecken and Collins all the way up in Kirkland, Washington. If you're watching, again, we want to say Thanks for being a part of the show. I can't wait to see what you're making today. I know you have your brand new maker space. At one o'clock today, our time um, on Facebook, on the if you go to the Maker Camp page, um, go go look up uh, Family Maker Camp. Um, if you look that up on Facebook, they're going to be doing a live broadcast. Um, of typewriter stories, typewriter with stories. Dr. Sparks. And actually, I might be wrong. It might not be on the Maker Camp page. It may be on Dr. Sparks' actual page. So look up Dr. Sparks. Dr. Sparks, he has a typewriter Facebook page, stories. Typewriter Stories, Dr. Sparks. And he um, he's going to be doing a story today uh, with one of the peppers, or I think, or, yeah. Lucy is yeah. going to be on today, and so we are, we're going to be fun to watch her. Yeah, yeah, she's going to be writing a story in real time, and he types cool. the story on a typewriter, and he is an artist who draws it and, and illustrates live. It's pretty fun and pretty amazing and really inspiring. Ellie had fun doing it a few weeks ago. Yeah. So yeah. one o'clock today on Facebook. You can Dr. get involved Sparks. too. Send him an email and, and sign up. Yeah, he's yeah. always looking for people, kids to be involved. So, well, I see Miss Waddy on there. Oh, and I forgot to give a, a second shout out to the Colton family with their baby Orion. Mm. Uh, we welcomed you last week, and we're glad you're back for week two. <coughs> All right. Or whatever week this is. This is Bless you. <laughs> week two for him, but maybe yes. week 17 for us. <laughs> well, we want to, again, thank you all for joining us this week. This and, week we've been um, singing and playing a lot too. with our ETM family. A big shout out to all of you. If you're watching this week, uh, we know we invited you on, and yeah. uh, we might not have heard us say hello to you. Uh, well, thanks for sticking with us this long. We hope you had a great week. Um, next week is our traveling show. We're going to talk about traveling. We're going to talk about uh, um, this great country of ours and visit some places Lots virtually. Of lovely and, uh, places in the Yeah, land. so um, we're excited. This so song, speaking of traveling, came to the artist while she was on a walk. Yeah. This, we want to thank Cheryl, we Cheryl Wheeler. Inspired this week by <laughs> our set piece. Our potato. Thanks again for joining us. This is the potato song. They're red, they're white, they're brown. They get their way underground. There can't be much to do. So now they have blue ones too. We don't care what they look like, we'll eat them. Any way they can fit on our plate. Any way we can conjure to heat them. We're delighted and think they're just great. Potato, 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 potato. Are you with us still? This is, uh, now let's make some potatoes. We got them out of the ground, now it's time to cook yeah. them. Here we go. Sometimes we ditch the skin to eat what it's holding in. Sometimes we'd rather please have just the outside with cheese. They have eyes, but they do not have spaces. I don't know if their feelings get hurt by just planting around in dark places where they only can stare at the dirt. Potato, 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 potato. I just love this one. This has got a good word in it. This, this in the first line. Yeah. I guess they used to scant for other parts of the plant, but that which grows in view. Is eating potato too. I imagine them under their acres up in Idaho and up in Maine. Maybe wondering will they be bakers or canishas or lacas or plain. Potato, 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 potato. Did you get another try? Potato, 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 potato. Oh. <laughs> wow, we made it. Have a wonderful weekend oh. and a great week. 
thank you again. Keep in touch. Stay connected. We'll and see you next week. And take care of each other. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Woo!